Hi guys, I'm back. I'm working on the uh, pockets in this Halloween journal. And if you watch the other videos, you know I've been making these two journals. And this one is the Trick or Treat journal. And it's got brighter colors, funner, funner? Oh my gosh, funner. More fun things in it. So like on this front pocket, that looks like definitely something I want to put on there. I have no idea where I got this. I'm working out of my stash not printing anything else, buying anything or anything like that. It's just, I'm using what I have already. Try, I would love to get it down to three. No, I already had it in three. Get it down to two um, project boxes instead of three. But if, if I have to still do two, at least they are contained in the plastic project boxes. So, okay, that's great. I've already got the pockets in. I'm just going back to see if they need decoration like that one. I think it's fine. Um, it's got the Highland Hot House and Happy Halloween. So we're good. I have a fabric clip in this one with strings all over it. Okay, get those out of there. Oh, I did look up the digital and it was, it was um, Antique Papery and it was Sophie's Pumpkin Patch. Now, I don't know is she still on Etsy? And I don't know if she still has that kit on Etsy because it's been several years since I bought it. And I think a lot of her stuff is no longer there, but I didn't go look it up. I probably should have, but I did get so far to get the names. Okay. I think we can put a little something here. So I'm looking over here. I've got all my ephemera over here and it's a big mess. So like right here, <laughs> some stuff. And here is some pumpkins that look kind of goofy. We might want to use them. I've got a little black thread here. It's I might as well just try to use it because it's definitely in the way over here. Oh, and I forgot I got to do charms on these two. So um, try to remember to do that at the end. If not, I'll get it before I'm done. So let's put a bunch of fabric tack here to get the strings. Just put them there, and then I think I'm going to put at least one of these pumpkins right in the center. Okay, we'll just do the one. I get some more of the string glued down. Okay. I'd rather, yep, I gotta do fabric tech. I was gonna say, I'd rather use um, art glitter glue, but probably not if I'm dealing with the strings. So, okay. All of this stuff I just pick up in yard sales and thrift stores and it just kind of collects in my project boxes. And it's been a couple of years since I made Halloween journals. So, you know, remembering where I got most of this stuff is going to be impossible. But that's pretty much it. You know, if I didn't buy it at like um, Dollar Tree, then that's where I got it at thrift stores. And these bags I might have bought at Dollar Tree, but I haven't bought anything this year. So it would have been like two years ago. Okay, I think we got that. All right. Now, this is the little pocket here, so we can definitely do something there. And I have a picture here. Oh, you know what I have that might be cute? A scarecrow, but he's too big. Okay, I'm just going to grab this. Let's just work through this and use it. See if I can get it off. It is a sticker, right? I don't think it's a sticker. Oh, it's just showing you how you can do your scrapbook page. Oh, well, why can I use it as a, I don't want to use those scissors as a focal point. I'm assuming that's what this is. Because it's not coming up like a sticker. Okay. I think these are topper things for tags, right? The holes in the tags. So I have to try to remember I have those. I don't think that's going to come off. I don't think so. Okay. Just going to glue it on. All right. This book has three signatures. So we have, I think I put four or five pockets per side. So we have several pockets. It's probably going to need some decoration. Have a tab there. All right, this is a woven pocket. It's woven book page and uh, not satin, ribbon. You know, the shiny kind that you they make bows out of. I'm trying to find a trash that's not full. Okay, uh, maybe. 
Okay, so we need to put something on that. Would he fit on there? I don't think so. He's still too tall. It may not matter. Let's see how he's on here. Oh, string. This is definitely something I got for 25 cents somewhere. Thrift store, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, he'll fit on there okay. His little hat's going to stick out, but that's going to be okay. It's an iron-on, but we're just going to glue it on. I guess it's iron-on. Yep, iron-on. I just put extra glue because of that uh, shiny ribbon. Even though it's kind of matte on this side. Okay, that's cute. Definitely one of a kind element there. And I'm thinking I might could use this possibly somehow as a tag, so I'll put it in my tag box. Okay, moving on. Sophie's pumpkin patch. Okay, this is here. I put it in. I don't go decorate it. I had to cover up some bad stamping there. Um, so we got a spider web. So we need a spider. Oh boy. Okay. Only not on my chair. Let me see if I have a spider in here somewhere. I have the big one that was a ring, but I don't want that. I've got this one. How's it hanging? That might be kind of cute. Because this is the more fun journal. How's it hanging? We'll try that. Spider web. Okay. Oh, there's some spiders too. I cut them out from something. have that on there. I can have how's it hanging. I think I'll do both those things. Okay. I like this one because it's got a little bit of color to it. Okay. That one looks like a black widow spider. We'll just do how's it hanging up here. I'm going to trim it a little bit. <clears throat> just going to wing it with my scissors. Just a smidge. Okay. Now I'm going to ink it. Shows up a little. Okay. Yeah, my stamping wasn't so great, but you can always cover it up. Make something else happen. Okay. Close this up real quick. See what's next. All right, this is a um, cupcake holder I made into a pocket. I don't know if it needs much of anything. So I think I'm just going to keep going. It's kind of got a lot going on. All right, well, on the other side of this pocket, <clears throat> the other one I did what? Put that string, right? Nope, I put that. Okay. Um, Got a pumpkin here. She's kind of goofy looking. Got the Celtic thing. Could be a background. Put this pumpkin on the front. Got cut out though. Everything in here. Start at the back this time. Ooh, that's kind of neat. It's a label. Made out of fabric. And we'll just do that fabric label on there. And then I can put that pumpkin to the side. So let's do it here. And this is just a piece of a fabric. I've sewn around it twice. Looks like it has distress inks on it or distress oxide inks or something's on there. I'm not sure what. Yeah. Perfect little label. And then we're going to put that pumpkin on there. Okay. Just have her to the side. Okay, come on. I 
fingers are orange from doing a bunch of stamping yesterday. Okay. Is that fairly straight? Fairly straight. Treat bag, I just glued the whole thing on. I think it's fine. This is a grungy looking pocket, so we need to cheer it up a little maybe. <laughs> um, let me see what else I have loose over here. I have these stickers, but they're, they're I don't know. They're okay. There are a lot of Thanksgiving type things too. So put the stuff that's more grungy here in a pile. And I'm going to save those tag things. I'll put them right there so I can see them. Here's some more of the stickers that are like Thanksgiving. I'm just going to cut that that and get rid of some of this trash. I got a good skeleton. I could have put that in the other one. Well, I'm not done with tags, so let me put that over here on the tags. Okay, oh, I got a pumpkin. I got two pumpkins. Are they there together? Yeah, that would be a cute little pocket. Candy galore. Aha. I have another one of these, which I don't need. I got the little girl. Oh, that's good. That look works well on this. Okay. Put this over here. Uh, I think after I finish these, I said I was going to do a Christmas. I think I'm going to make some more Halloween ephemera and just forget about journals because that way I can concentrate more on the ephemera. Like I've got a pile of napkins over here that need to be used, but uh, I've already got my pages done and a lot of pockets and stuff. So, um, yeah, I might do some Halloween ephemera and just have it ready for next year. That would be great. And I have a tub of scraps, like three years worth of scraps from doing journals. Like every page I've cut, I've got cutoffs from. Because I know the last few I've done, I've done with, um, uh, what do you call it? Scrapbook paper. Oh my gosh. Scrapbook paper instead of. Yeah, I finished the sentence. Digitals. There we go. Scrapbook paper instead of digitals. There's a chance I can make this into a little pocket. No idea where this came from. I'm going to try it, and if I think it's too fragile, I'll glue it back down later. Okay, we're going to put candy galore at the top. I say after I'm done with these, I'm going to make ephemera, but I'm going to be probably making ephemera to finish them up because I know I don't have a tag big enough to go in here. But I do have several master boards around here somewhere already made. All right, we have a trick-or-treat bag. All right, we have this blank slate. This is a doily I punched out. I had the dies that, do, that punched that out. I have, oops, I'm dropping stuff. It's not contained anywhere. Keep dropping it. Okay, there is Edgar Allan Poe's uh, Once Upon a Midnight Dreary, but that really goes in the other journal. Okay. I had these puppy. I made um, paper clips out of these. Puppy little things. I might do that later. Another project. The Scarecrow. Or I have a bunch of these stickers. Oops. Okay. I want candy. <laughs> I want candy. Let me poke that out. I could take some of that thread that's hanging around here. If I can find it again. Put that there. Oh boy, where'd it go? I want it, and it's disappeared. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's just take a wad of that. Put it through the I want candy thing. I'm just going to tie it. Uh, maybe I'm not going to tie it. 
Try again. <laughs> no way. This is crazy stuff. None of the ends are the same length. There we go. I got a little bit on there. Okay. So if I want candy on there, anything else? Sugar high. <laughs> I want candy, the sticker, and then sugar high. I probably should have glued that one too, but there we go. And it's a tuck. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a pocket. Yes, it's a pocket. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Got lots of stuff. I've got this, but let's spread that out a little bit. We got that. Looks pretty good. Let's do that. And then I've got the word scream here. Let's try that. A lot of these um, things are printed. I'm sure it's from Graphics Fairy. I was looking at it last night on my computer just real quick to see if there was something I absolutely had to have. But no, I was just going to go with what I already had printed out. Okay, so Halloween greetings. And then screen. It on costume on that one too. That's the word on here. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna put the word costume on this. It's a little tab, collage tab. So let's finish this up. Put it in the trash. It's hanging up here. Stuff keeps falling out of it. Okay. Didn't ink it. I went to ink it. Well, nothing else is inked on here, so. Leave it like that. Okay. And then we have this. In the other journal, I put some ribbon on it. This one definitely needs something. Okay. So we had this ribbon. Just put it across there. Oh, I had sparkly ribbon too. Need to use that. Okay, there we go. Just let that, I don't want it to slide around because this is kind of a slick surface. Okay, now it's following me everywhere. I can put it right up there. Center the signature. Another treat bag. Oh, and this is a little tuck too, so we've got that. Alright, this is H for Halloween. It's an index divider. I have nothing on it. So what do we want? Let's go to our thing here. Okay. I do have these little um they're from fabric and they're kind of frayed. This one's Cuter. Better shape than this one. Okay, Ugh. get off me. Get off my finger. We put one of those on there. And there's another spider. Put the word caution. Uh, you must search for the truth. Haunted, which is peace can be surprising. Not to people can be surprising. Not to me, of course, but to you. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. We had a jack o' lantern that would be good. Pump the word pumpkin, maybe. Pumpkins. You see what I'm doing over here? Uh how to haunt your house dot com. I think that's a real thing. Okay. Spooky. That's several spookies. Maybe I'll do that instead of pumpkins. I 
Yeah, I think so. I think that'll work. Okay. I did have black tool. I think I still have some. <laughs> Do I ever have some? Okay. Let's just get some of this. Let's just put it behind it. It's kind of doubled over, so that's okay. Let's see it better. Okay, come on. So on here. Alright. I found my spatula. And you know what? It's a perfect spatula. I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Let's put spooky down. Right here. Look, my spatula. It says boo on it. Okay. You can pick these up easily at thrift stores and things because there's seasonal ones like I got a Christmas one and now I've got this Halloween one I'm just cutting the fold on this so it will be a little frayed more okay um, so it doesn't matter though in the craft room if they're seasonal or not okay okay it's gonna take a minute for that to dry to turn the page I'm going to take a drink of tea while we're waiting. Okay. I'm chewing some ice. <laughs> I think we're okay. Another treat bag. I have a lot of treat bags. All right, blank slate here. I could use some of this sparkly ribbon on it. Okay, the beginning. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's get this weighted down. Let's do some of that. Top of the purple. And let's straighten this up a little bit. Okay. Fabric tack again. I don't even know what else I'm putting on here. I'm just gonna get this down. Boo thing out again. Stay on there a little bit. Okay. All right. What do we have? Over here. I like the treats bag. That's cute. We just put that on there. Okay. It's pretty sticky. Sticking to my fingers for sure. Getting all the glue off my fingers. Okay. Make sure that other one didn't stick. I think we're good. Okay, what's next? Next signature. All right, I've already got this bag decorated. So that's done. And this one really is too. I could put something on there. I gotta get moved up in my seat again. Ah! I could do the spiderweb one again or the sparkly one. Do I have anything else? I might have. You know what I have? I have some leftover black ribbon from the other one. Let's do it. I think the only thing else I have is like this costume bear thing. I don't like that too well. I do have mustaches, but I don't know if it really goes. So let's just use this scrap fabric. Glue this side. Get it over there. Okay. I have another one of the chalk bags. So I wrote on there to show you it's chalkboard. This is a pocket. I don't think it needs a whole lot. Um, you could use this picking out a pumpkin since it has pumpkins all over it. Oops. Okay. Yeah, 
just a little sticker. And then we have this, which on the other one, I used uh, one of these type pictures that's upside down. I know you got a crow, but that could go on the other one. So I use that. It's not too bad. Things are falling over here. Oh, get over here. Oh my gosh, too much stuff. Okay. Scarecrow, the little girl, or the pumpkin girl. Let's do the pumpkin girl. Okay. We have this again, which, okay, I put a sticker on the other one. Guess who? Happy Halloween with the little cats. We got the crow. Oh, look at Frankenstein, that little cat. Trick or treating here. Let's see what's in here. Here's another crow. I think this is actually paper from that same paper pad. Mm, that's okay. Just looking. R.I.P. We got that on that. I think it goes the cupcake holders and then and they had little spike things with the toothpicks in it to put on top of the cupcakes. That's where that came from. You know what? Here's a crow with a little goofy hat on. Why don't we just use that? It's just like a little piece of chipboard that pops out. Okay. And it's got that pops out there. Let's ink it a little bit. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, hang on. Let's put him there. Or her. It. Let's put it there. Didn't even see that pocket. It was hiding. Okay. And then we can put um, some words with him. We got a goofy looking cat. Or the ghost. Maybe we'll do the ghost. Let's do some candy corn. They're here. Okay, leave that out. <laughs> leave that out. Okay, looking for the words way over here. Werewolf. I have no idea where I got these words from. Goblin or boo. I guess trick or treat was some of them because there's treat. <laughs> I got or. I don't have trick. Let's see what else. Vampire cauldron. There's trick. Oh, hell's magic journal cauldron. Okay. Corn maze. Nah. Broomstick midnight. Okay, none of those. Okay. I don't know. Pumpkins haunted haunted house. Nope. I just use caution. I don't know. No. Trick or treat, maybe down the side. Like that. Okay. 
Okay. I got items from everywhere. I think this is definitely something I printed, but where I got it from, I don't know. My first guess would be Graphics Fairy. Okay, I'm thinking about putting this ghost here with the or the cat. Why don't I do the cat since the hat matches uh, this crow on the other side? Okay. Let's put him there amongst the pumpkins. And I think I saw some words. Oh dear, I hate to even think. I gotta go look for it about a cat. <laughs> Maybe I'll find it right off. Nope. So, howling at the moon. Nope, but I'm close. I thought it was close to that. That's the spirit. No. No. Of course I can't find it. Okay. Next time I'm going through here, if I find it, I'll stick it on there. It was something about a cat. So I didn't go this far. Okay. We'll just put it here somewhere. When I find it. Okay, another treat bag. And another treat bag. And uh, the I made a big tuck for the back. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to work on tags, but I want to end this video here. I might go look for that little cat phrase. And uh, anyway, I thank you for watching and sticking with me this long. I know it was a bunch of hum-hauling and flipping pages. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.